Hello, this is Christian of Firefay Dragon, and thank you for joining. Last video, we broke down some of the characters from Breath of the Wild and decided which devil fruits we think that each character had eaten. We focused on the four uh, champions, the the four champions that controlled the divine beasts before the various versions of uh, Ganondorf took over the Divine Beasts by killing them. So, in today's video, we're going to finish off by uh, doing the three main characters of the series. Today, we are going to be breaking down the Breath of the Wild versions of Link, Zelda, and Ganon. I think it's just Ganon, since he ha forsook his reincarnation. Spoiler warning, by the way, for uh, One Piece and Breath of the Wild. But we're going to be focusing on those three characters today and decide which devil fruits that they ate. Now, I also want to mention that I broke down some rules. I set up some rules in the previous video. I also described what hockey, devil fruits, and a few other things um, from One Piece are and what the series is. But just as a brief explanation or overview of all that, I love... Uh, a ton of series, and one of my favorite right now is One Piece. I love it because of the characters, yes, but also because of the abilities. Uh, things like hockey, which there are three types. Observation hockey, which kind of lets you sense the things around, sense uh, presences around you. And also it can sense the intent of attacks. Um, in rare cases it can also help you protect the future. Uh, there's Armament Hockey, which allows you more durability and more strength with offense. And there's Conqueror's Hockey, which is kind of not well defined. There's also Devil Fruits, again with three types of Devil Fruits. Zoan, Paramecian, and Logia types. Um, but I'll break those down as need be uh, today. Um, and there's a, a, there's a lot of other abilities. Sword Skills, CP9 abilities. Um, there's a King Punch, that's not really the full term, I believe, but there's this one character who can charge up his punch for a whole hour, and then just, boom, release a huge massive wave uh, that uh, many characters think can take out the, one of the four strongest characters of the world uh, currently. Anyway, all that aside, let's get right into today's video, starting with Zelda. What Devil Fruit did she eat to gain her powers? Now, Zelda was initially hard to place in this series. Uh, I felt like her few abilities that she did showcase could have been hockey, Conqueror's hockey in spe uh, specifically. Um, but there are uh, two or three main showings or, or main clips of her that I want to focus on today. The first one is uh, in one of Link's memories, or in the 13th memory I think it is, uh, Zelda and Link are running, and uh, Link is injured and stuff. Uh, he is about to shield a Guardian attack, but it's aiming right for his head, and Link probably isn't going to survive if the Guardian gets a shot off. So Zelda jumps in the way, puts her hand up, and the wave of life of light emanates from her. And this disables not only the one Guardian that was currently aiming at Link, but a few other Guardians. Um, uh, honestly, my first uh, thought was like 20, but I think it's actually a few less than that. Still possibly over 10. But it just disable is this disabling wave of light. And this, I thought, might have been Conqueror's Hockey. Uh, there is an episode, uh, spoilers for One Piece. Uh, this is in the Fishman Island arc. And specifically, what I am talking about is Luffy comes in and is sho showing his first use of Conqueror's Hockey, or maybe his second use, but his first use in front of his crew. And what it does is there's like a hundred thousand enemies, and Luffy just walks up to them, uses Conqueror's Hockey, and just lets it emanate from him, and it takes out half of the guys instantly. Very powerful stuff, right? Well, again, Conqueror's Hockey seems to be a bit undefined in the series, but what I gather is that the more weak-willed an opponent is, the more susceptible they are to the effects of Conqueror's Hockey. Um, so as an example, Luffy could try to emanate his uh, Conqueror's Hockey to take out uh, other members of his crew, like Ronor or Zoro, 
but it probably wouldn't have very big enough of an effect, but just a random grunt of the marines or other pirate crews, and sure, it will knock them out easily. And this is something that I think could be used against the Guardians. They were, they are robotic, and, you know, they have the programming which could be considered the will, quote-unquote, but in the end, even though they are powerful physically, I think that a strong enough Conqueror's Hockey could disable them. Uh, however, there is a good note for this, the light wave emanating from Zelda. Let's also break down what the other two showings I want to mention for Zelda are. They are when she gives you the light bow and when she uh, rematerializes from light. Now these are very specific to a devil fruit, and I want to explain why. Um, the devil fruit is the Pika Pika no Mi, the glint glint fruit. It is a Logia type devil fruit. What Logia types are is they allow you to turn into a substance and it allows you to create and manipulate that substance. As an example, there is the Magu Magu no Mi, which is the Magma Magma or Mag Mag devil fruit. And what it allows is, is it allows the user to become Magma as well as create it and control it. Now, kind of telekinetically. But the Pika Pika no Mi, the glint glint fruit, this actually allows the user to turn into light. Mm -hmm. Now, kind of explains why there was a light wave emanating from Zelda, and it also perfectly explains how she can rematerialize from light, because she just turned into light, and she's rematerializing into her human physical form. Now, the light bow, actually also, uh, there is an ability showcased by the consumer of the Pika Pika no Mi, and the ability is to send beams of light. Now, the, this isn't quite a one-to-one -one connection. Um, the beams of light actually explode at the end in the One Piece anime, whereas uh, the light arrow just shoots arrows, but it could just be nuance of the ability, uh, nuance, nuance of how the ability is used. So overall, I think it's a pretty easy one-to-one -one connection that uh, Zelda has eaten the Pika Pika no Mi. All right, and now on to one of my favorite characters of all time, Ganondorf. Still, love Link more, but Ganondorf gets my respect. Now, I, I honestly wanted to give Ganondorf the Yami Yami no Mi. This is the Dark Dark Fruit. It is a Logia-type devil fruit um, that allows the user to become darkness. Now this is actually a Logia type, uh, a very special Logia type. Most Logia types, when you transform into the other substance, such as fire, magma, or um, sand, light, things like that, you are somewhat unphysical. I mean, you, you do have physical form and stuff, but when somebody like tries to punch you, it just punches through you instead. The Dark Dark Fruit actually works a bit differently in that you actually still get physically hit. You feel the injury, but you're also kind of able to absorb it. Um, the Dark Dark Fruit actually allows you to draw things into a dark dimension, quote unquote. And we actually, I actually feel like we don't see uh, Ganondorf showcase any or many abilities like that, drawing things in, but his powers do uh, do have this magically purple or dark or black or around it. Uh, so it felt like a pretty good connection. However, I decided that there was another character that should get the Yami Yami no Mi, and instead decided to showcase one of the rare circumstances in this series where we are going to give a character a hypothetical devil fruit. Now, I did want to give the Yami Yami no Mi to Ganondorf. I felt like it would have been a good foil to give Zelda the Glint Glint Fruit and give Ganondorf the Dark Dark Fruit. Uh, but I am strictly giving it to another character just because they fit the Yami Yami uh, no Mi much better. 
is. But instead, I decided to give Ganondorf a hypothetical devil fruit for a couple of reasons. One is I want to showcase to you what it is like, and actually Ganondorf, I feel like, would fit this one pretty well. And I chose to give him the Yama Yama no Mi model, a myth, or uh, 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 model Aramanthian boar. Now, this would be a mythical type Zoan devil fruit, and uh, the Aramanthian boar was actually from the fourth challenge of Hercules during his twelve trials, and I thought it was a, kind of a fun connection. You know, Gandorf would get this Zoan type, which uh, Zoan type devil fruits focus on transformations. Um, and Gandorf has a transformation from his Gerudo form into the more boar-like Ganon form. Uh, I, I also uh, thought that it was a fun connection to give him the Aramanthian boar, mostly because it's a mythical, it would be a mythical type zone devil fruit, and I think Dan Ganon is a character deserving of such a rare and powerful devil fruit. And I find that the Aramanthian boar was big and rampaged, and Ganon is big and rampages. I mean, he probably doesn't rampage to the extent that the Aramanthian boar does. Ganondorf has a sort of uh, gentleman, evil gentleman to him. Um, not exactly, but play Wind Waker. You'll kind of see what I'm getting at. Um, but yeah, Gandorf in the end, I thought he would have the Yami Yami no Mi, but his magic doesn't really draw things in, as far as I can tell. And uh, he has the transformations to a more boar-like form, as well as, I believe, any Gerudo can learn magic. Maybe not to the same extent that Ganondorf has, uh, because Ganondorf is actually the re re reincarnation of Demise, but that's a spiel I don't want to get into today. Anyway, so let's move on to who did eat the uh, eat the yummy yummy nummy, and it is Fee. I brought up Fee, but to you people who uh, don't know, Fee is the spirit inhabiting the Master Sword. And to you who uh, don't think that Fee is in Breath of the Wild, it doesn't actually matter terribly much, uh, because uh, there actually was a way to feed inanimate objects devil fruits in One Piece, the One Piece series. So we have bazooka dogs, or a bazooka that ate dog dog fruit, and a sword that ate an elephant elephant fruit. So it is entirely possible to have uh, the Master Sword have, to have had the Master Sword eat the yummy yummy no mi. And why I think that the Master Sword fits so well with the yummy yummy no mi is that the yummy no mi the devil fruit can draw things or people into or attacks, you know, it can draw things into its dark dimension. And the Master Sword is the sword that seals away the darkness. Maybe that's how it seals away the darkness, by drawing it into uh, the dark dimension. Alright, not inherently a evil ability, it's just uh, describing the physical or uh, the uh, aesthetic look of the Dark Dimension, you know, it just draws a Ganondorf or Ganondorf spirit into the Dark Dimension, therefore sealing him away. And lastly, let's break down Link. He doesn't have a Delve Fruit. I tried to make it work, but there are a few facts that just make it so that he realistically can't. First, let's talk about some of his abilities. Um... Uh, they're all, they're all either from one of the champions or specifically his Sheikah Slate. And there isn't really a devil, there probably isn't really a devil fruit that does everything from putting things into stasis to lifting magnetic objects and freezing water. There just isn't a devil fruit that is varied like that, as well as we know that objects can eat devil fruits, so wouldn't that all be the Sheikah Slate's abilities, if, even if it did eat devil fruits? And let's, let's also put aside the yellow hearts, um... The yellow hearts, those are armament hockey, you know, increasing his durability. The stamina, 
probably also armament hacking. Uh, he also can Link also can learn enemies' attack patterns. That's a lot like observation hockey. And in air, when he pulls out his bow, he has this kind of slow time effect. Also observation hockey. Now, there are a couple things that are kind of odd, like his ability to inhale like Kirby, which could be the result of the Munch Munch fruit. Uh, but there also is the fact that devil fruit eaters can't swim. When someone consumes a devil fruit, the ocean actually begins to hate them, and whenever they are submerged in water, their energy is completely drained from them. So there isn't a way that a Link could realistically have eaten a devil fruit to get his abilities and still swim so much. Just to add a couple side notes here, first off, uh, I think that a couple of the characters, or most of the characters I've listed in these two videos, would have armament hockey. You know, it allows you to have better endurance and better offense. And I think the Rook, Urbosa, Link, and Ganon would have it. Um, Zelda, not really sure about. Mifa, probably not. And Rivali, probably not. Now, not having armament hockey doesn't mean you aren't a heavy hitter. Armament hockey just helps with that durability. Uh, just, it's a bolstering effect. Um, I also want to mention that I think Link would have a little bit of Conqueror's hockey, mostly just enough to resist the effects of Conqueror's hockey, but that Zelda and Ganondorf would have uh, abundant Conqueror's hockey. Last side note, uh, some of you are going to point out that Mifa is Azora and they do a lot of swimming, so if she had eaten a devil fruit, wouldn't that kind of be contradictory to her physiology? Yes, it would be. You know, she wouldn't be able to swim anymore. But I also don't remember her in any cutscenes swimming, and even if she did, we can just assume that, that she got her uh, Mifa's grace ability afterwards via devil fruit i mean she probably had she probably was like somewhat of a doctor uh healer class woman uh in her in the zora tribe and actually in her in her cutscene with link she may explain she may kind of tease at uh her using mifa's grace but i don't think she specifically says that she's used mifa grace on link before and it and I don't remember her doing any swimming. So I think it's safe to assume that Mifa ate a devil fruit as well. And it is actually pretty sad since as Azor she wouldn't be able to swim anymore. But anyway, guys, uh, go ahead and leave down in the comments what you think I got right, what you think I got wrong, and any other devil fruits that you think I should have mentioned in, in this list, uh, in these lists. Now, also don't forget to like the videos and subscribe and... Please, for all means, also share it so that we can grow as a, this big nerding community together. Um, yeah, that's everything. And so, until next video, this is Christian of Firefly Dragon, signing out.